Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to the Chris Alcedo Show here on Newsmax. President Trump reacting on Truth Social to the heavily redacted affidavit that the DOJ laughingly claims is justification for their politicized, unprecedented, and dangerous raid. Dangerous because the DOJ threatens to institute a divide in the United States that we may never recover from. Joining me now is the Trump attorney who was present during the raid at Mar-a-Lago, Christina Bob. Christina, thank you very much for carving out time today. You know, the 38-page heavily redacted affidavit, in my mind, is a, is a joke. In one stanza, the DOJ is justifying the raid, in part, by referencing a local CBS report that saw moving <laughs> trucks at Mar-a-Lago when Trump was president. Should anyone with a U-Haul truck on their property now expect an FBI raid? What am I missing here, Christina? No, you're exactly right. It is, it is as ridiculous as it appears. Uh, we all had speculated for quite some time that the FBI did this on pretext. They're looking for something else. Uh, what they claim was not actually what they were after because everything everything that President Trump has is covered by the Presidential Records Act. So we couldn't possibly be talking about a crime under the Presidential Records Act because there is none. He is the president. He, ex he is exempt from any of the declassification procedures and, and any of the requirements that other employees have. So there's nothing there to get President Trump on. Yet what they've disclosed in this affidavit points to exactly that, which to your point and to President Trump's point means they had no valid reason for even seeking a warrant in the first place, let alone executing this raid. Absolutely insane. Uh, President Trump responding to the DOJ's release, writing this, quote, affidavit heavily redacted, nothing mentioned on nuclear, total public relations subterfuge by the FBI and DOJ, or our close working relationship regarding the document turnover. We gave them much. Judge Bruce Reinhardt should never have allowed the break-in of my home. Christina, on that last point, the judge had mm -hmm. recused himself from another Trump case just months before, but, but green lighting the unprecedented raid was on, on the flimsiest, flimsiest of excuses. Suddenly it's okay. No, nothing about this feels right to me. Nothing about this feels legal to me, but it does right. feel political. Am I wrong? Yeah. No, I think you're exactly right. And I think most Americans that are looking at this situation objectively are going, what on earth is going on? Why is the Department of Justice and why is the FBI doing this? There's no lawful justification. And to the president's point about, oh, there was nothing nuclear, you know, there was nothing mentioned like that in the affidavit. He's exactly right. This is what the Department of Justice is doing is they're hiding behind secrecy with you know, slow trickles of leaks to their leftist news pundits without any sources or any way to verify what they're saying. You know, they, we heard this whole story about, oh, espionage or, oh, there were nuclear documents. He kept the nuclear codes or some kind of crazy activity <laughs> like that. And, it, and yet we see the affidavit and it's a big wah, wah There's nothing there. So uh, I think the FBI and the Department of Justice have, have a lot of explaining to do. And I'm curious on the redacted portions of the affidavit, did they lie to the court? They have a history of lying to the court. We know they have lied to FISA courts yes. in the past. So, you yes. know, what did they tell the judge? Because there doesn't seem to be a good reason to find probable cause and allow for the warrant. So what did they tell the judge that we don't know? And I, I suspect they were probably either dishonest or withheld information that could have changed the judge's mind. Yeah, I think that kind of summarizes the Department of Justice these days. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> first, I only got about 30 seconds left, and I, I want to get you to, re, to, to give us the, the short version, if you could. Are there any grounds or precedents that President Trump can call upon to get a, a full release of the, of the unredacted affidavit? Um, well, at this point, you know, that's something we're still working on. So we hope so. We, we think we're entitled to it. And also, I don't think they have any grounds, you know, under the Presidential Records Act. There's nothing there. There's no crime there. There's nothing they could possibly allege against him. So this really is an unprecedented territory. We're working through how to navigate that because this has never been done before. But it's certainly something we're working mm -hmm. on. Christina, Bob, I can't thank you enough for uh, carving out time for us uh, on the phone today to talk about this breaking news. We really appreciate it.